This story actually takes place quite a while ago. Way back when I was in middle school, when I was in eighth grade. It, it is about a boy. And before this point in time, I had known him for about two years and I was absolutely infatuated with him for one of them. I did eventually get the guts to tell him how I felt, and he said that those feelings were reciprocated. So when this story takes place, we were together. Or as together as two eighth graders can be. And it was during the last week of the year when our class was lucky enough to go up to Washington, D.C. for a one-week field trip. And at the end of that field trip, there was the D.C. dance. And <laughs> it took place in one of the dining rooms of the hotel, but they had pushed back all of the tables and tried to make it look like a ballroom. And we talked most of the night, but when the slow song came on, he asked if I could have the dance. So naturally, I said yes, and we made our way across the heinous hotel carpets and started to dance. And at some point in time, while we were dancing, I looked at him and I, I just started crying. <laughs> So he, he said, Emily, are you okay? Why are you crying? And I just remember saying, I, I'm just so happy. And I think that in that moment, it was maybe the first time I truly allowed myself to be vulnerable to emotions such as gratitude and joy and truly just felt so connected to another human being for the first time. Inevitably, things had to come to an end, you know. It was probably a case of puppy love, so making the transition from middle school to high school and getting all grown up meant that we would also go our separate ways. And I really haven't spoken to him in quite a while, I think maybe a couple of years. But I, I wish that I could thank him for that moment, because even though we really don't talk anymore, I still really cherish it as one of my first memories of just genuinely being so open and connected to another person. And I think that I will really hold on to it for quite a long time. Thank you for listening.